So, how to track the sun along the day, any time of the year, at any location, perfectly, and how to calculate the day length, the sunset and sunrise azimuth. So, we'll start first by how to track the sun, and it's very simple. With this device, you have just two angles you have to adjust. The first angle is this angle. This angle here is 90 minus your latitude line. So in Cairo, at latitude 30, this angle should be 60. The second angle is the angle of the sun, the elevation angle of the sun during the zenith on the equator, or the remaining angle. So if the angle of the sun, the elevation angle of the sun on the equator is, uh, say, 70, then this green angle, this green triangle, has an angle of 20. If the sun is perpendicular anywhere in the southern hemisphere, then the gnomon should be put in the center and this is, will be the angle. And if it's the sun somewhere perpendicular in the northern hemisphere, then we put the gnomon on the circumference of this circle. <clears throat> now, this is not actual uh, triangle, just the, this, this line, this line here, represents the path of your looking through the gnomon to the sunset or the sunrise. Of course, in this position, this is the sunrise during winter for the northern hemisphere. So, what do these angles do? What you have to do for each day, you will have to change this angle and you can get it from time and date or you can cal calculate it by something called Julian date which I, I'm not so uh, clever in so we just get it from time and date and it changed every day so what you have to do is just uh, point this, this circle to the north so this means that we are now uh, looking south into this device this is the first thing and then you but no we have to look to get down like this now you see this upper tip of the triangle you see it horizontal this means it's looking at the sunrise uh, now what you have to do after this is rotate this triangle 15 degrees every uh, hour this way you can follow the sun perfectly now when we look at this yellow circle it represents a 24 uh, 24 hours a dial clock or clock dial so this angle here if it's 15 hours this is the 6 a.m this is the 6 p.m. If this is 15, then this got to be uh, 7 a.m. Uh, this will be noon. And this, of course, uh, during sunset, the angle will be reversed and it will be uh, 5 p.m. So that's how you get the the time of the sunset and the sunrise. Now, if you want to get the the azimuth of sunrise and sunset, first we have to orient horizontally. Okay, now it's almost horizontally. Okay. Now, when we look from top view. This direction here, as we said, is facing north. So this angle, if we measure it, 
say it's 30 degrees from the 90 degrees or uh, from the east so 90 plus 30 that's 20 so this is how we do it you get the data by the the actual device physically by pointing uh, things to the sunset or the sunrise now how to calculate it is is not that hard as you see here I have some color coded lines and triangles and shapes so first of all let's discuss how the the time the added time or the subtracted time to 6 a.m. Uh, this is the time the added time and time is represented by angles here every 15 degrees represents one hour so we need to know what is this angle this angle is part of a triangle here the red the blue and the black the red is already known because if you look this way it's the base of a triangle that is 90 degrees and say 20 degrees here so we can get the red line length uh, this is the the the, um, the relation between the red line and the nomen is 10 so we divide the, the nomen by the the red line length and we get the tan of the angle or we do the opposite we get the inverse tan of this angle and we multiply it by the nomen we get the red so now that we have the red we need to know to know uh, the blue or the black the black is a little bit hard for now so let's look at the blue how can we get it get the blue from here we look at it this way this is the nomen and say it's 10 centimeter and this angle here is equal to this angle which is your 90 minus your latitude line so now we we get this length the blue of course this is now part of, or the way we see the green triangle but this is the blue so we look back again now we have the red and the blue we can get this angle for every 15 degrees is one hour now how to calculate the sunset azimuth uh, and the sunrise azimuth we need to know this angle between the purple and the red line uh, I'm sorry between the purple and the upper edge of the triangle of the green triangle this line if you want the angle we need to know the blue plus the, the orange and uh, the purple we say that the purple is already equal to the black we got the black from the red and blue so now we are remaining with the orange the orange is the distance on the plate between the the nomen base and the vertical uh, uh, the vertical the vertical view of the nomen tip this is vertical or uh, looking vertical at the clock dial and now we're looking from the side so we want to know this orange this distance so we align it we just zoom in so we know the nomen length and we know this angle 
and we know this angle so we can get this length on the plate once we get that length we have the triangle complete we can now uh, start using the blue and the orange but there's an issue with the blue and the orange we know the blue length on the plate we know the orange length on the plate but the problem is when we want to get the angle of the sunset and sunrise we're not looking perpendicularly on the on the plate we're looking at it this way so we're not seeing the the actual uh, the actual length so we want to get the apparent length of this distance so if we look this way the apparent length is so back again to the apparent length of uh, the blue with the orange this is the apparent length when we look from top view this is it so since we have the the orange and uh, the blue we can multiply it by the sine of uh, sorry by the cosine of this angle and this angle of course is 90 minus your latitude line so we get the apparent uh, length of orange and blue let's look again so we get the apparent length and we get the length of the purple uh, so obviously this is uh, tan we inverse the tan and we get this angle and we add it to 90 uh, which is the the sun uh, the sunrise uh, angle during the equinox only and that's how you get the angle for uh, for the sunrise and you would do the, the same uh, thing for the sunset uh, I'll try to explain with other means. I, I hope uh, uh, for now uh, you get the idea, at least from the practical usage of, uh, of the device. Thank you for watching.